Hello! This video will show you how to create your triangulation view at RootsFinder by copying your Tier 1 GEDmatch information. We'll do this the same way we created our list view and segment view. We go to the DNA tools by clicking DNA over here in the left hand menu, then clicking the kit we want to work with. I land in the list view, and then I use the blue button up here to switch to the triangulation view. I see some instructions here that look pretty much like the instructions for the list view and segment view imports. It tells me to go to GEDmatch and look in my tier 1 utilities for triangulation. So I click triangulation and now I have some options. I want to give it my kit number and then I decide what I want included. This upper segment threshold limit is set at 3000 by default. So if I leave that at 3000, my parents' kits would be excluded. If I want to include those, I would change it to no limit. The next important thing is to make sure in the display options here that I choose this middle option, show results sorted by kit number, because that's how RootsFinder processes the data. So I click triangulate and I wait. There is a lot of data to be calculated here, so it takes a while. But when it's done, it looks like this. To get this data over into RootsFinder, I'm going to copy it all by hitting Control A or Command A on a Mac, and that's going to highlight everything in blue. And now I'm going to copy it to the computer clipboard by hitting Control C or Command C. And now I come back over here to RootsFinder and I click anywhere here in this instruction box in the center. This is the landing zone for the data, so I just click in here anywhere and then I hit Control V or Command V to paste it in. And now it's going to process and when it's done, I'm going to get this cluster view that shows me how everyone is related to one another based on their segment triangulation data. If I want to update this later, I just click on this plus button up here in the upper right. It gives me instructions on how to bring updated information into this triangulation view without losing any color coding or notes. It just merges the new information into my existing data here, which we'll look at in another video. So now I've brought in my one-to-many list, my segment data, and my triangulation data, and I can start tagging and color coding, which we'll talk about in the next video.